is my baby's heartbeat. I wondered as I became more at home with my masculine body if that would shift my desire to carry my own child, but it didn't. It just made me want to have a baby even more. Currently, there is no data about how many transgender people give birth in the U.S. each year. For Brute, I'm taking a meet with Danny Wakefield, a transmasculine single father who gave birth to his baby Wilder eight months ago. Though he won't go into details about how exactly he conceived, Danny says giving birth to Wilder changed his life for the better. This is Wilder. This is my miracle baby. You stand on Papa's tummy? Jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. So there's a few myths that I learned when I first transitioned. One of those was that testosterone possibly makes you infertile and that two, you couldn't get pregnant well on testosterone. And both of those are false. I wasn't planning on having a baby. Um, I mean, I've always planned on having a baby, but I wasn't actively trying in the moment that I had Wilder. Actually, I haven't shared parts of that story yet, because um, parts of that story are for Wilder to share, but when I found out I was pregnant, there was there were definitely some shock, and like, okay, how am I gonna do, I'm doing this, we're, we're doing this, but like, also like, yes, we're finally doing this. And there was just no looking back. Baby burrito. Woo. My baby can crawl now, y'all. Holy cow. Wilder went from like not crawling to like speed crawling across every room. Like no joke. I turn around and like two seconds later, I'm like, where is, oh, standing up against the couch. There's Wilder. Literally like I'm, I've entered a whole new level of parenting. Oh. Hi. Someone called it a circus. I call it a sh show. Nothing makes sense anymore now that my baby is crawling. I thought life was hard before. <laughs> Prior to having Wilder, I was in a really dark place. That was me for homecoming in my freshman year of high school. You can see how awkward I felt. What's it like looking back on that? <laughs> I'm like, how did I not know? I didn't realize until the age of 25. I'm like, oh, I didn't know because I didn't have experiences around me to help me vocalize and know that there were things that I could do to help me feel more at home in my body. Yeah. Some of the awkwardness is just like classic teenage awkwardness? <laughs> um, I think it could be, but I think that um, you don't get to be a classic teenager, right? An average teenager when you're trying to show up in the world as somebody who you're not. That takes up, for me at least, all of my capacity, even though I wasn't aware that that's how I wanted to show up. I knew that I wasn't in the right shell. I just didn't know what that meant, so. Are you hungry? Do you want some milk? Yeah, do you want some milk? Oh, yeah, okay, let's get you some milk. Okay. Come here. So Wilder eats all donor milk. It's 100% donor milk. And has since birth. Huh. So nine years ago, I had a double mastectomy. I had top surgery. I wanted to be able to give Wilder milk just as I would have for my own body, but I wasn't able to. I produced a few droplets. Yeah. I produced your milk. And I knew that that was going to be the case just because of this type of surgery that I had. Ooh, I want to find all the AMs and the daytime milks, not the PMs, Wilder. Okay, let's get these thoughts. Ooh. Wilder, you're eating, holy cow. 
while there was drinking about 40 ounces a day and now it's closer around 48 ounces, which doesn't sound like a lot. Um, but it is, it adds up. Huh. I'm so tired. Wilder didn't sleep very well last night, did you? Oh, sweetie. We'll sleep eventually. Oh my god. What's it been like, that single parent here? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's exhausting, <laughs> but it's also really scary. Hi, buddy. Hi. Should we see where the piggies are? Hi, Wanda. I miss you. Hi, Kaz. Do you love your little piggies? We just need one more, don't we? We need the three little piggies. Yeah. Pat, pat, pat. You do it. Pat, pat, pat. Yeah. I've been struggling with postpartum depression and living alone in the woods, having these like thoughts of like, well, what happens if I faint again and just like knock myself out? and I'm unconscious, and what if I don't wake up? How long will it be until somebody hears Wilder or finds Wilder? I'm having a really rough week emotionally. Um, my postpartum depression and anxiety is really high this week. You ever have those days where you just wanna stay in bed and cry, but then you're like, oh yeah, I'm a parent. I don't get to. I'm a single parent, right? I just need more support. I ended up stopping testosterone about two months before I conceived Wilder because I was in a really bad place. And when I'm in a rough place, then I tend to stop taking care of myself. And one of the first things to go is my testosterone. I tried to go back on it when Wilder was, um, I think four months old. Um, and I was on it for a month and it was really hard. My depression increased, my anxiety increased. Are you mad? my patience decreased. I didn't like how I was starting to parent. I was much more agitated. Um, and when I'm doing this alone and waking up with an infant throughout the night, like I don't want to wake up too agitated to an infant. And so I was in this position where I was like, do I want to feel comfortable in my body and take this testosterone, feeling terrible mentally and emotionally, or do I want to uh, stop the testosterone and become feel more stable mentally and emotionally and feel terrible in my body again? So I stopped and it's felt a little bit better. And I hope to go back on, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna rush it. I'm just gonna um, get through today. And then tomorrow we'll get through tomorrow. And if tomorrow involves me starting up my testosterone again, then great, I'll be ready for it. And if not, then I'll get there eventually. Okay. You ready, Freddy? <sighs> da, da. Sing it. That's a cute new babble. <laughs> so oh, you've got your, you've got your teaser. No. I can't just, I can't listen to that cry. There's something chemical, like there's something literally inside of me that... We're, we're gonna pull over, sweetheart, okay? I got you. Okay, here we go. Turn around, hey. Papa got you, I got you, look. I know, I hear you are so sad. It makes Papa sad when you're so sad. I know, but I got you. When I'm having hard days, and I'm walking around and I'm saying, I can't do this, I can't do this. I'll look and I'll notice that my baby's watching and listening to me and be like, it's okay to say I can't do this out loud, but um, it's also okay to say that I can do this, right? Okay. 
Wilder came at the most unexpected time and turned my life around in the moment that I needed it turned around the most. Taught me how to love myself in ways that I had been searching for for my whole life. Ways that are allowing me to save my own life, right? Houston, we have a sleeping baby. For as dark as my life was before Wilder came along, that's how bright it is now. <laughs>